to go ahead and get started. So good morning, everyone. Um, beautiful day today. We, uh, we thank God for that. Um, and, and while we are outside, and that means our, our risk of catching or spreading the virus is 20 times less likely, um, we, we do ask that you keep your mask on as, as you stay next to someone. You're welcome to take it off to speak. Uh, but we want everybody to be safe as possible. Uh, we also know that um, uh, standing next to someone or, or the longer you're next to someone increases your chances. And so we're going to ask all the speakers to be as short as possible um, so, that, so that we can improve our chances of being safe. And so, so with that said, I just want to say good morning to everyone. I could wish I could see everyone smiling. I'm sure everyone is smiling as hard as I am this morning. We're very excited to be here this morning. Um, we took a long, winding road to get here, but uh, thank God that we're here nonetheless. And so it brings me great pleasure to be here with you guys today to celebrate the upcoming renovations of Greenwood Community Park and the Baton Rouge Zoo. And so while it is a renovation, today marks the beginning of a new Baton Rouge Zoo as the updated facilities and amenities will provide never before seen attractions where thousands of local families and tourists can create unforgettable memories in the space that we created together. And so we're so honored to have so many leaders of our community, elected officials here I'll do my best to, to, to name uh, as many and recognize as many as possible, but uh, forgive me in advance and don't be shy about waving your hand if you do not hear me say your name, but first like to uh, recognize our, our uh, recently re-elected uh, mayor of, and president of East Baton Rouge Parish, uh, Ms. Sharon Weston Broom is here. Thank you for your attendance. We, we invited um, Senator Bodie White. He called to, to say he was unable to make it, uh, but, but he is very supportive of this project. Um, same goes for our former commissioner, Mr. Larry Selders, who's very instrumental in this day as well. Um, he is unable to attend, but we certainly want to recognize all of his efforts for the nine years he was on Breck's board. Um, we do have in attendance State Representative Barbara Carpenter. The zoo sits in her district, and so very um, instrumental in this day as well. We thank her for being here. Also, um, State Representative Barbara Freiberg is here as well. Thank you, State, for coming. State Representative Denise Marcel is here as well. Um, thank you for being here, State Rep. I do want to take a, a, a moment to recognize uh, Senator Barrow, who is very instrumental in this day as well. The zoo sits in her district, and, and she's been a big supporter of the zoo. Uh, she recently lost her husband, so let's keep her in our prayers, uh, as well as her family. And But we, we, we thank her for her contributions, and I look forward to working uh, with her more. We have the, the Mayor Baker here, Ms. Darnell Waits is here. Thank you for coming, Mayor. We also have several um, council people um, uh, in Baker, uh, starting with Ms. Brenda Jackson is here. There she is, thank you for coming. Um, Ms. Glenda Bryant, who serves on Breck's Finance Committee is here. Make sure all the dollars are straight. Thank you for serving. Um, do we have any other um, Baker representatives here? Oh, we have Councilman Young here as well. So thank you for being here, Councilman. Um, 
We do have several members of uh, the Metro Council in attendance as well. Um, Councilwoman Tara Wicker is here. Councilwoman, um, um, uh oh, Councilwoman Shauna Banks is here. And we also have uh, Councilwoman Donna Collins Lewis is here. Thank you all for coming out today. We certainly um, appreciate it. Did I miss any other Metro Council uh, people I'd like to recognize? Is that Councilwoman Dunn with Baker is here? Thank you for being here, Councilwoman. I know Councilman Montgomery is here from Zachary representing. Any any of your council members here with you today, uh, Councilman? Well, we certainly appreciate you here representing Zachary. We have uh, the Chief of Police of, of Baker is here, uh, Chief Dunn. Thank you for being here, Chief. Still a long list of other names here. Um, certainly want to recognize uh, the Breck staff in attendance, starting uh, with Mr. Reed Richard, who is our Assistant Superintendent of Planning. Reed is in charge of this entire project. Um, so we thank him for his efforts and his support, uh, along with Angela Harms uh, is here, and many of, of the other, if you were Brex planning and engineering team, just sort of raise your hand and wave to the crowd. I'm sure Reed has leaned on every one of them to help out on this project. Well, we also have other members of Breck staff here. Our, our chief legal officer, uh, Ms. Anitra Boykin is here. Uh, Anitra, our chief operating officer, Andrea Roberts is here as well. Assistant Superintendent of Recreation and all of our programs, Brandon Smith is here. We have the director of the zoo, Phil Frost, is here. We also have um, our golf director, Mike Raby, is here as well. Over in the back. Um, certainly don't want to leave here without recognizing my bosses who make it possible for me to be up here. And so start with the chair. Uh, Mr. Lloyd Benson is here. Thank you for being here, Mr. Chair. Also have our vice chair here as well. Mr. Kenneth Pointer is here. Thank you for being here. We have Commissioner Davis Rohr, the mayor's appointee on our board. Mr. Rohr is here. And we also have um, Commissioner Sandy Davis is here as well. We're not going to get in trouble for a quorum, are we? we but we, we, we certainly appreciate um, all of our board members and their support. It's, it's their actions um, that make all of this happen. And so I, I bring the recommendation. They ultimately uh, make the decision. So thank you for all of our board members. Um, and with that, we, we do want to provide some information on what we have uh, coming at the zoo. And we want to start first with our chair, uh, Mr. Lloyd Benson, who will tell you about some of the exciting things that are coming. And then we'll have Mr. Reed Richard follow him. And uh, I'll, I'll come back and apologize and recognize uh, those who I missed. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Wilson, and I commend you on the great job that you've done uh, in leading Breck uh, for the next era, uh, and I think this is a great occasion that we've all gathered here for today. So again, I commend you, and uh, thank you for continuing to bring home the gold every year. Uh, Baton Rouge Zoo was first opened in 1970, and over the past 50 years, the zoo has grown to become the number one family or attraction in Baton Rouge. Attracting more than a quarter million guests each year, the new zoo will exceed your expectations. I am thrilled to be here today to stand with Breck as we embark on this new adventure that will remain a staple in our community and encourage others to visit our community. This phase one implementation project will be the first step in creating a highly identifiable signature destination that elevates the park and zoo to a level of excellence in green infrastructure, modern zoo design, recreation, conservation, resiliency, health and wellness, and most importantly, 
social cohesion, and community pride. Here to give a visual description of the master plan design is Breck's assistant superintendent, one that stays very busy, assistant superintendent of planning and engineering, Mr. Reed Richard. Please welcome him. Welcome him. Thank you, thank you, Lloyd. We're excited this day is finally here. It's been a long time, and um, there's a lot I can say about this project, but um, I'll stick to the script. In 2019, Breck hired the world-renowned design team to undertake an incredible new master plan. Sasaki Associates, park designers out of Boston, and Torre Design Consortium Limited out of New Orleans, zoo designers, this team led the effort of reimagining the park and the zoo into one cohesive community asset, all of which the whole, the entire parish of East Baton Rouge can be proud of. The master plan presents a broad community consensus and support around a phase one design of roughly $40 million in Breck funded improvements to the park and the zoo. Phase one of the master plan, which we're breaking ground on today, will be built built by the Lemoyne Company through the state's construction manager at risk delivery model with a target of 30% disadvantaged business enterprise involvement or subcontractors. We're standing approximately where the new zoo entrance will be from the heart of the park. If you're a visitor, you can imagine a dramatic arrival sequence from the current entrance to the park that will meander through the park and arrive at a new zoo entry uh, plaza and new zoo entry building. You'll then pass through and be greeted by a striking new orientation plaza and interactive fountain. Perfect for entertaining guests as they wait for family or friends to arrive. Also imagine an, a close-up encounter with giraffes at the new giraffe exhibit, where kids of all ages can participate on the feeding platform. Imagine a new best of class underwater pygmy hippo exhibit, new aviaries, and other exciting new modern elements of the zoo. And to highlight some of the incredible new park features, which is already a terrific park, are going to be um, a new bayou promenade, a winding walkway along Cypress Bayou that will offer spaces for families and other groups to gather under the shade trees and bring visitors closer to native plants and educational moments of the bayou ecosystem. Many other exciting things are coming to this park as well. A highly unique, large, expansive Louisiana-themed adventure playground and the existing nine-hole J.S. Clark golf course will be redone with new routing an expansion of the nine holes, some of which will be on the park side, providing a longer, more challenging regulation course. The park will also feature Breck's new green infrastructure and nature-based stormwater management approach, where parks can be multifunctional. These features, features will demonstrate how Breck parks can play a vital role in flood risk reduction for the parish. The phase one renovation is the first step to a large-scale transformation project that will kickstart more improvements to the park and the zoo, presenting entirely new, unique, high-quality attractions, modern zoo exhibits, and iconic recreational environments that have never been seen before in the parish. A very unprecedented time, and we're super excited. And to speak a little bit more on the zoo, I'd like to introduce um, and welcome Bill Frost. Good morning, and uh, it's great to have you here. Uh, as we've already mentioned, this is the new front door to the zoo, so we're excited that you're here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask our guest services to count all of you as guests to the zoo today, since this is officially going to be the zoo in a few months. So again, thank you so much for coming. Um, I am beyond excited for this day to arrive. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we've had many things planned for this year that we've had to adjust, this being our 50th anniversary but we know that so many memories have been made here at the zoo over time and that we're gonna have lots and lots of memories made for future generations here at the Baton Rouge Zoo. This moment is really happening due largely to the diligent and hard work that we've had 
of our community, our elected officials, our BREC leadership, our zoo staff, uh, friends of the zoo board, BREC Foundation, our consultant team, and our community at large, and all their involvement and participation. Uh, I would like to, at this time, just ask if you are a member of the zoo staff, would you please raise your hand? If we could recognize them. They've had an amazing year this year, dealing with animal care, dealing with COVID, and uh, bringing in record numbers of people, believe it or not, on the months that we've been open. So my hat is off to them, and they've done a fantastic job. We look forward to the amazing reinvention of this zoo. Uh, so today, phase one actually begins. The Baton Rouge Zoo is going to bring more profound level of education to our region and more impactful conservation efforts for the world around us. It's often said that a vibrant zoo is the sign of a vibrant city. I welcome you to come along with us on this vibrant, wild, and marvelous ride. It's sure to be one to be remembered. Thank you for being here today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm going to turn it back over to court. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate you recognizing the um, staff of the zoo. I knew I was going to forget someone. And before I ask the mayor to come up and say a few words, I do want to recognize Paul Arrigo, Visit Baton Rouge. Uh, the zoo is the number one family attraction in Baton Rouge. So. <laughs> Just want you guys to know that. Um, also, Adam Knapp with, with BRAC is here. Um, and we have the uh, president of the BRAC Foundation, Mr. L. Moreau, is here, uh, as well as uh, Carl Stages, executive director. Uh, Carl Stages is here as well. And with that, uh, Mayor, although I've already violated the not speaking too long thing, uh, you're, you're welcome to come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Wilson. Today is indeed a beautiful day outside, but it certainly is, uh, I think, showing us the beauty and the progress that's going to take place with our new zoo. And so today's groundbreaking is indeed a testament to Breck's commitment to progress within our community. You know, every day our students, our residents, utilize the recreational facilities and services, and they are an important staple in our way of life here in Baton Rouge. You just heard Superintendent Wilson talk about the fact that Breck is one of the number one destinations for individuals who come to our area. And Greenwood Community Park is the largest park in our Breck system. And this revitalization project will make an extraordinary contribution to the quality of life and overall health and wellness of our residents. The progress made here in Greenwood Community Park will serve the residents of Baton Rouge for years to come. During the season of adversity, you know, we have seen just how important it is for our residents to have green space to enjoy, to be able to go outside. In addition to the revitalization of Greenwood Park today, we celebrate improvements, of course, on our beloved Baton Rouge Zoo, which will surely bring a renewed sense of pride for the entirety of our parish. Together, the zoo and park will serve as a vital economic driver for the north region of our parish and for our community as a whole. And I'm so glad to see Breck's continued commitment to improving resources that our residents utilize and enjoy on a daily basis. It's been a journey getting to the new zoo, but it just shows you when there's collaboration around a shared goal, when there's passion around a shared goal, then nothing is impossible for us to get accomplished. And so I wanna thank everyone for joining uh, this event today as we celebrate the progress here with the new zoo. And I know that as soon as this is finished, we'll come back for another celebration with our friends, the animals. <laughs> thank you so much and have a blessed day. Thank you, Mayor. Look forward to working with you on this and many other transformative projects here uh, in our parish. Uh, the zoo sits in district number 63, and so I'd like to invite the representative of that district, State Representative Barbara Carpenter, to come up and say a few words and share her thoughts on this great day.
Thank you so much, Corey. If anybody is excited, I am. This is a marvelous day, and I am thrilled that you're here today. God has shined upon us and given us a glorious day so we can celebrate this time. I was thinking when I spoke to, uh, to the superintendent earlier how we've come to this point. This is an example of community involvement, legislative involvement, and Zoom Breck administrative involvement. It took all of this to get us to this point. 600 pristine acres of land you find in this part of the parish. The zoo sits on 70 acres of it. What more can you ask for? So I look forward to this place being a destination venue, birthday parties being held, wedding receptions being held, and more, much like you find in other cities where the zoo is the driving economic force in this area. And so I look forward to the movement, and I have committed to the superintendent that when the legislative session starts back up, I will fight even more to be sure that we get what we need to maintain a zoo that is state of the art, one that people will come to and want to be a part of, and that the revenue stream will continue. Thank you so much. I am overly excited. This is a good day. Thank you, Representative Carpenter. I know you and Senator Barrow will uh, fight for the zoo down at the Capitol. And hey, the zoo is, uh, you know, attracts people from all over the state. So hopefully, uh, the other state legislators support um, your your request for the zoo. Um, and, and next, we'll have you know the the zoo sits on the border of Baker. Many people think the zoo is in Baker, but we don't, we don't see any lines here. There's no lines of jurisdiction. And so we're excited about where the zoo is located and we're excited about the Baker community. And so I ask the mayor of Baker, Mr. Darnell Waits, to come up and share his thoughts about today. Hey, good morning, good morning. Uh, those of you who know me, they, they always write, my people always write speeches, but by the time I come, God has already gave me something else to say. Uh, today is indeed a historical day uh, for East Beverly Parish and the city of Baker. And um, here's why, you guys, because this is what it looks like when we come together as elected officials and public officials, and when we bring the citizens and we get them involved, this is what can happen. And so I'm so excited for the future of the zoo. Um, and I'm really excited because the city of Baker sits right at the front, the forefront, um, and the future looks bright. If you go down Plank Grove, when you leave Plank Grove, there's a sign that Bethany uh, put up, and they put that sign up about six months ago, and it says that the future of Baker is bright. And the future of Baker is bright because of events like this and projects like this that's going to generate jobs, generate revenue, and it's going to build Baker and its surrounding areas. And so that's what I'm excited about, being part of a team that can work together to get things done. So it is indeed a great day. And uh, Superintendent uh, Wilson, I am so proud of you. You said what you was going to do, and you did it. And so he deserves a big round of applause, you guys. And so let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you. You guys have a great morning. Thank you, Mayor. As, as many um, speakers have already said, it, it, it takes all of us to make something like this happen. Um, and, and certainly want to recognize uh, Councilwoman Banks, who's, who's been involved in this process for several years. Uh, this, this piece of property sits in her district, and she's been a strong uh, proponent of, of seeing these improvements. So I'd like to invite her up to say a few words about what this day means to her, Councilwoman. Thank you, Superintendent. I was listening um, to uh, Rick Chair 
Lord Benson indicating that the zoo uh, started in 1970. And so I, it brought me back to 1970. I was a fifth grade student at Southern University Laboratory School. And at the end of the year, beginning that year, our end of the day event was always to come to Clark Park and then the Baton Rouge Zoo. It is so awesome to know that now that I have an eight-year-old grandson and a four-year-old granddaughter, that they too would benefit from the parks and recreation and zoos here at Greenwood Park and the zoo. The borders of this prestigious uh, part is um, Highway 19, Thomas Road, Levy Lane, and Plank Road. Neighborhoods in and around these borders will begin to thrive and cultivate a strong sense of community among residents. I have I don't have to lament on all the you know, numerous challenges that we face today and within our city parish and our different cities, but today is a good day. A day that not only do we break ground, but we spring forth gratitude. The new and improved Greenwood Park and Baton Rouge Zoo ushers in access to recreational activities increase property values, spur local economies, combat crime, and protect cities from environmental impact. Thank you, Superintendent Corey Wilson, Mayor Broom, Mayor Waits, the Brick staff, foundation, and all the stakeholders for your steadfast diligence that brings us to this celebratory event. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman, and we're one step closer to uh, digging some dirt to recognize this groundbreaking. Um, but before that, we have one last speaker. We talked a lot about uh, a lot of public government officials coming together to make this happen. Uh, but it's also going to require private businesses, the philanthropic community, to also get behind this and support it if we want it to be successful as well. And so with, with those words, I'd like to invite up Mr. L. Moreau, who is the president of the Breck Foundation, our fundraising arm. Um, L. will share some information in terms of what the foundation has already done for Breck, um, but we're excited um, about what lies ahead in terms of working with the private and philanthropic community to support this project. Yeah. Well, Superintendent Wilson, thank you for welcoming me here. Uh, this is exciting. I grew up in Zachary, not far from here, and spent a lot of time at these parks, spent a lot of time at the zoo, and to see what we are about to accomplish as a community is, is truly astounding to me. I look forward to being able to experience this with my kids and my grandchildren. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic project. Uh, thank you to all of the public officials and everybody else who has uh, participated here as well. But as Superintendent Wilson said, it takes more than that. It takes the, the private sector. So as president, I'm honored to be here today representing the board of directors of the Breck Foundation. It is gratifying to see a dream become reality and to see the potential realized. Many of the projects and programs the Breck Foundation raises money for are driven by donor interest. We strive to advance opportunities for visionaries to create enhanced park facilities and recreational programs by facilitating exceptional donor engagement for meaningful purposes. These public-private partnerships illustrate the opportunities for contributors to work with Breck Foundation and combine their donations with Breck funding to enhance the quality of life all over the parish. The Foundation has worked with donors to improve Greenwood Community Park in the past. Two examples are the Trail Around the Lake, which was funded by ExxonMobil, the Senior Playground was championed by the Main Street Pilot Club and Pilot International. At the zoo, the Baton Rouge State Fair Foundation funded the Children's Playground and signage, while ExxonMobil again stepped up to help make the Tiger exhibit a worthwhile addition. 
These projects we inaugurate today are especially gratifying because the Foundation recognizes that future donors will want to help develop these amenities for the greater Baton Rouge region. The Foundation Board is committed to taking the necessary steps to have in place the infrastructure that ties to our mission of acting as good stewards of funds entrusted to us by donors and adding by their wishes and abiding by their wishes and directives. We facilitate and support innovation, sound corporate governance, and the development of meaningful partnerships. We thank past donors for their support and look forward to developing new levels of generosity and commitment to our community. Thank you. I just want to take a second to recognize uh, Brian McNabb, who's here representing uh, Senator Cassidy's office. Um, we talked about state dollars and local dollars, and hopefully some federal dollars uh, come our way as well. We know we do a lot of uh, trail um, grants that we get from the uh, federal government, so excited to have Senator Cassidy representing this project as well. And so, in, in a well-designed park, families are encouraged to create unforgettable moments, learn, play, bond, and grow together. Redesigning the Baton Rouge Zoo and Greenwood Park will strengthen our communities, strengthen our mission to contribute to a healthier, more vibrant community by providing exceptional parks, open spaces, and recreational experiences for all of East Baton Rouge Parish. I would like to send a special thanks to Representative Carpenter and Senator Barrow, who did sponsor a capital outlay request for the next phases of the project. We will certainly need all of your support to bring these big dreams in the region to life. I would also like to, to send my sincere condolences to Senator Barrow uh, as she and her family grieves the loss. They are certainly in our prayers. I also want to thank Sasaki and the and the Tory design team, as well as Lemoyne Contracting for collaborating with Breck to help bring this vision to life. If you're with Sasaki or Tory or Lemoyne, just wave your hands. Um, these are the people who are responsible for designing and ultimately building these great renovations. So thanks to everyone who made it possible. I'd like everyone to stay and grab some refreshments uh, and, and view the signs. Now it's time to grab a shovel and move the ground, but we will um, do it in a socially distanced way. So we will have maybe four or five different photos so we can uh, spread out. And so if you have a pair of gloves, um, meet me next to the shovel. Thanks a lot. <laughs> For real, there's an armadillo. Oh my God, that's hilarious. That's the best. Hey, girl, you represent it. <laughs> Everybody have the photos they need? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
Okay. Everybody ready? <laughs> Oh, he's still there. 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 He's still Excellent. Yep. So how do you build it? Yep. <laughs> yep, go, go. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> He's going to you, Jennifer. Thank you.